We're talking with Sam Dyson, who's the director of Hive Chicago Learning Network. And Sam's uh, session at DML 2015 is on blurring boundaries, broadening equitable access within and between learning institutions and networks. Sam, tell us, tell us about that. What's exciting about the, this theme? This theme grows out of one of the promises of connected learning, which is the ability to broaden equitable access to engaging learning opportunities. And the ability to make connections is really at the heart of powerful learning experiences, as all educators know. Uh, and the outcomes of those experiences can really be transformative for kids, giving more kids that irrepressible desire to keep growing. So at a basic level, this work and uh, the proposals invited in the theme are really driven by that desire to provide kids with more connected learning experiences. We know that um, for many young people, their uh, lives of learning live in separate domains. There's an academic life of learning, an interest-driven life of learning, and a peer-supported life of learning. And um, the whole crux of connected learning is that to bring those otherwise separate worlds together provides this context for deep engagement uh, and really transformative experiences. So the conversation that we want to have in this theme of the conference and this track is um, to invite uh, conversation around the theories, practices, and the experiences of, of those who are working within learning institutions and learning networks to try to create just such connected learning experiences. So Hive Chicago Learning Network is an example of the kind of boundary blurring and network connecting you're talking about. Can you tell us a little bit about what's, what's going on with, with Hive Chicago right now in that context? Yeah, Hive Chicago is one of a growing number of learning networks that are part of a Hive global movement, uh, which folks can learn more about at hivelearningnetworks.org. And it is uh, a community of connected, youth-serving organizations seeking to develop these connected learning experiences in ways that cross many um, tip traditional learning domains uh, and unite these organizations uh, through a commitment to youth-centered uh, connected learning that leverages digital media. Uh, so a learning network is a context which by design is intended to create equitable access for young people. And we'd love to hear from the growing number of learning networks and um, those seeking to become Hive Learning Networks about the uh, challenges and successes of, of blurring boundaries between the institutions that make up these networks. But we also realize that there are many organizations that exist beyond the context of these networks. Traditional institutions such as schools um, uh, and cultural and civic organizations like libraries and communities, and we'd like to hear from all of those uh, as well as we create a, uh, a stronger ecosystem and context for connected learning experiences to take place across these boundaries um, that kids themselves have to traverse. Um, I know that there are many examples, but do you have a, a quick example of that kind of activity from Hive? Yeah, so um, one is a high-funded project in Chicago that's weaving together uh, the learning experiences across STEM learning organizations, museums, programs, uh, and uh, those within the network in Chicago and reaching out to networks beyond, um, making contact with uh, Hive NYC and the um, growing Hive community in the Bay Area to try to provide a 
connected context where between these museums, young people can have the opportunity to learn and receive digital badges for their learning in ways that connect um, to a, a shared system of what sort of learning is valued across those different institutions, making a connected context um, that kids might not initially be aware of, but that can lead to learning pathways across institutions. Wonderful. Thank you, Sam. Looking forward to, to your track at DML 2015. Thank you, Howard.